This fight is a masterpiece and he wore the British Commonwealth title. And today we're going to do a commentary of the fight with the winning coach. Hi, Bobby. How you doing? All right? Yeah, all good. Can you tell us a bit about the fight? Yeah, so this was for the British and Commonwealth uh, Championships at the home of British Boxing at York Hall in Bethnal Green. Um, main event on Sky Sports and um, it was the first time that Isaac was actually boxing for the British title. So a really important fight in terms of um, his development, his career and, and where he is. Do you know what, it's, at that level it's never simple but it was also a very dangerous fight. We were fighting the defending champion in Mikel Lowell who was unbeaten and known to be a very big puncher. Yeah. So the tactics and strategies that we go through and that you're going to see um, were very important to get right on the night. All right, I'm really curious. Let's go. All right, you're ready to enter. Yeah. Mate, you look nervous. No, do you know what? You just zone in. This mm. is the bit that everyone's got to zone in. Um, it's all the hard weeks that you've been working towards in camp, you know, eight, 10, 12 weeks for this moment. So, um, you know, the ring walk's always interesting because you get a sort of last feel of where your fighter is, how they're feeling. You know their, their energy, um, but you know Isaac's always quite calm, and he, he always enjoys these moments, which is which is good. You have to embrace, you know, the the energy, the crowd, um, and use it to your advantage. You know. Yeah, I can see. It looks like he's enjoying it. He's focused. Yeah. yeah, you can see he's taking it in. He's enjoying the the ring walk. Heavy South London crowd that night at um, York Hall, but it was good. You know, a lot of people turned out in support of the main event. Two guys from London. You know, South versus I think it was West, so it was, um, it was good. And there's the opponent. Yeah, and again, he looks quite relaxed. Um, and I noticed it about Mikel, he looked quite relaxed even on fight week. And, mm. and again, you sort of try and take those in, in terms of you know, your, your energy, your opponent's energy and where they are. And also, he's a very scared fighter, as we said. He's, he had 17 wins with 11 knockouts, so you had to be careful, yeah? Yeah, he's one of them boxers that he can he can be losing a fight and then turn it around with one shot. Yeah. Because um, he is such a, a big puncher, you know, so we had to be we had to be very switched on. And like I said earlier, the strategy and the game plan going into this fight, when you're up against the champion, you know, unbeaten, he's going to be confident. And especially when they're considered a big puncher, you just, you have to get, you have to get it right and you have to be focused throughout the, the 12 rounds. All right, tension, he's starting, he's starting. Yeah, so you see straight away, the big part of the game plan was to not stay in front of him and not be static in front of him. So you can control the opponent without punching a lot of the time, um, if you understand how to do it. So Isaac's very good at doing that. He was fainting, for example, a lot of twitching, um, a lot of moving to his to his right, so away from his opponent's right hand, because that, that was his, his danger punch. And you, you see him do it quite well here. He's always fainting and twitching. And what that does, that keeps the opponent um, occupied and busy, and it actually stops them in their tracks from doing what, what they want to do. Yeah, and also the distance. He has a very good control of the distance. So he always, I like how he moves his head, mm. he moves his hands, he moves his body, he moves the, the feet, so they go the distance. Yeah. So it's always, and then he fake, He's always active, yeah, he's always... Always doing something. Yeah. Always doing something. And you can all, you can stay busy by not doing much, and that's really what we what we worked on and drilled in, in the training camp. You know, stay busy doing not much, because, you know, potentially this is going to go 12 rounds. So that's what you're seeing here. Lots of feints, lots of twitching. And also, like you said about the distance, like varying that lead hand, going to the head, going to the body, and generally just keeping the opponent uh, busy and off balance. Is I, I think Isaac is a bit higher too, right? High. Yeah, he's a bit taller than, than taller. Mikel, I think. Yeah, so um, we knew that we could, you know, Mikel's got long arms, but mm. we knew that we could keep this at range and, and Isaac at range and distance. He's very good at controlling that, so that's another thing that you're seeing here. And um, he's very much boxing at his own pace, his own range. So he's early on, we're quite comfortable, but you'll go on to see what I say in the corner of what we noticed um, his opponent trying to do. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then he takes the distance, but then boom, coming into. Yeah. I think he felt the, the, the punch there. Yeah. So we sort of had a one-liner in, in camp, which was, look, box at range, fighting close. Yeah. Because 
we knew and we were confident that Isaac would, would win in both of those areas as long as he knew what to do in both those distances and, and that's what you just saw a clip of there. So when he does push him against the ropes, you know, the idea is close the gap and, and be the stronger, more physical, busier guy there. So he's out game and very inside game, right? That was the Exactly, idea. exactly. Box at range, fighting close because, you know, we, we knew it was going to get to both of those stages. Um, so this round, yeah, Isaac's still still getting still very busy behind his lead hand, you know, and that was that was very very key. Keep busy, keep him off balance with that lead hand, stop his attacks, but constantly be twitching and moving, and don't allow him to set his feet, which he tries to do just on mm. cue, just right there. And Isaac was ready for it. So yeah. you know, you can't afford to stay still for more than two seconds in front of a big puncher like um, Mikel Lowell. All right, so the first round is over. What I noticed, now what you're doing, first of all, you make him breath. So yeah. you, you work on, me, on him calm down. Yeah. That's a great, that's a big mistake that coaches does. Yeah. And then I like the position you had. So can you tell us something about yeah, that? Yeah, it's all very specific. So like you see the position that I'm in, I always like to go down to eye level um, or even a little bit lower than, than the boxer, just to make him feel a little bit more elevated and um, to be able to communicate better. So it's a bit of a psychological thing as well. And the first thing you saw me do there was tell him to breathe, you know, two deep breaths, get him to relax and calm down so that they can digest the information a lot easier rather than sort of drown them with information and water straight away, which you sometimes see. Yeah, because they're already confused from the fight. And they don't breathe and then whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you're jumping on them. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, you've got to recognize that, you know, adrenaline is 10 out of 10 at the moment. They're just coming back. It's very physical, you know, so you've just got to get them to calm down and breathe. First of all, bring them back round. So here we go into round two. Um, and what I said to him in the corner there was, look, he's trying to bring you onto the right hand. Mm. So keep circling away from the right hand. Keep him busy with the feints and the jabs um, and keep doing what you're doing. So, you know, don't start to get uh, drawn into a fight, just keep boxing. So uh, now this yeah. round, you can start to see Isaac actually pushing him back. So you remember what I said about box at range, fighting close. We're fighting in close here now. Yeah. We're trying to make it a bit more physical. And, and again, Isaac followed it, followed the strategy to, to a T. Look, he's trying to be the, be the stronger, more mm -hmm. physical man in there. And look, it's working quite well. I don't think Mikel's too comfortable with it. Um, and we knew as well that he's not the most active in close. So, he, you know, he tends to sort of not do much. So uh, we, we mm. felt that was another area we could exploit, which, which you're seeing now. I see. And in this round, you always kept the middle, the center of the ring. Yeah, absolute key. Because like I said, Isaac boxing at range and his distance, he's, he's very good at. Um, and it allows him to get his lead hand off like he's trying to do there. You'll see him vary it up and down. You'll see him faint first off it like you just saw there. So yeah, being in the center of the ring the majority of the time. And then you, when you see a gap, you start pushing, pushing, pushing through yeah. the corner. When yeah. you're pushing back, we're going to try and get in close. And we're going to try and work in close. Moving on the right. Yeah. We, that's what we wanted, like his back against the ropes as opposed to ours. And um, yeah, it proved to work quite well early on. So, you know, something's working in, in boxing, especially in, in the moment, you don't want to change it. Dirty boxing. <laughs> yeah, you can you can win, you can win ugly sometimes. Win win rough, mm. and and that's the reality of, of pro boxing. Sometimes you've just got to you've got to win a bit ugly. And you know when they're in close, it's it's not always the cleanest work, but it's it's very effective. Again, good variation of the jab up and down. He's always watching and wary of what's coming back from Mikel. Like I said, we can't afford to hold our feet in front of him and and trade with him because then you give him half a chance to land that big shot. So you've got to be aware of what's coming back. So again, you're seeing Isaac pushing him back, fighting him close and just being the stronger, sort of more rugged mm. guy in there. And again, this, this kind of carries on throughout the fight, to be honest. You'll, you'll see shades of boxing at range from the center and shades of uh, infighting against the ropes in the corners. Always active, but it's always in control, Isaac. Always in control, yeah. We, we say stay calm, not relax. Don't like to use the word sort of term relax because mm. you don't want to be too relaxed in a in a fighting situation. But you mm. want to be calm, and that starts with the mind. So whether you you know you're in close or you're at range, be calm. Just just be aware of what's in front of you. you know, be yeah. in the present. 
then these stones jab, 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 yeah, yeah. See, those feints are always constantly, if you look at the feints, they're constantly offsetting um, the opponent's balance. So they're constantly kind of stopping him or even causing him to lose his, his balance a little bit. So they were really effective. Also, I see it's dangerous with his overhand, then he throw, he try to... Yeah. Just to, but Isaac is always in range, being either in or out. Yeah, so you've seen another example here of just fighting in close, being effective, trying to get your work off, you know, keeping his backs against the rope, so... And then controlling, pushing, keeping the space, uppercut, nice. The referee's like stopping them, but look, they, they, they're active. Oh, look at that. That was good, yeah. So he gave himself a bit of space there, and now you're starting to see, look, whoa, getting his shots off. And, and got to give credit to Mikel here as well, because he stood up to, a, to more shots than, than we thought he would. Um, he got hit quite hard on the head, and, and he stood up well to those shots, you know. Another thing is nice is how he changes the level, Isaac, punching yeah. up and down, up and down, yeah. side, left, and how he moves his head while he's, while he's punching. So, something that we draw a lot is the head yeah. be, being offline, so like yeah. as you're punching, yeah. where's your head position, you know, going from online to offline position as you're punching, and that's very important. So guys, if you're enjoying this content, subscribe to the channel. Oh, good reflexes here. So he hooked and then evaded, that was nice. Yeah, so you saw Mikel throwing an overhand right, which is one of his favourite shots. He's, he's not people clean out with, and, and, and Isaac rides the shot, which he, he does quite well, so he takes a lot of power away from it. Yeah, and also the, the hook was nice. Counter rooking and then seeing the, the that was exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it goes back to just being so switched on of what's coming back. You know, even when you do land, mm. the guy's still going to be throwing, even if you do land the shot, so. Yeah. And, and even here, you can see Isaac edge into his right, uh, take a little steps to the right, you know, little things like that are so key at, at this level just to take away your opponent's um, attributes. Yeah. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Nice! So just give yourself a little bit of space when you are in close. Mm. Makes a big difference, allows you to let your shots go, which um, you saw there. Yeah, but that was wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good exchange. So I like even the sky, how they make the... Oh, by the way, if you want to see the video, it's free on Skyboxing and we give the we will send you the link in the description. All right, pressuring, yeah. faking, faking. Oh, he's grabbing his hand, look, the referee's... Yeah, tell him to clean it up a little bit. And grabbing the referee, stop him. Yeah, he's, he's, the referee's trying to keep it as clean as possible. And then look, he's not yeah, seeing yeah. on the other side. <laughs> blind spot, very good yeah, old pro spot. trick there. Yep. And then... Dirty man. Isaac manages to spin him, which is good, and then... Starts, uh, and pushed on the corner. Yeah. yeah, and that's really what you want to do in that situation. You don't really want to be the one back against the rope, so... That spin was good. Using the head, the yeah. pressure. Yeah, pro, right. pro box into a, a rough and tough old game. Nice, look at that. Moving the head, punching and moving the head. Yeah. Getting and out the corner. Yeah, just edging away from that right hand again. Mm -hmm. Pushing on the corner, <laughs> pressuring, and boom, and let's yeah, go again. He goes quite square at times, um, Lowell, so that's another thing that keeps him off balance, especially when he's backed up against the rope, so... Mm. And here we go again, distance. Yeah, that lead hand, just controlling the, the pace. It's the last 10 seconds, I think, yeah. Again, just edging away from the, the right. So you see that throughout now, even round seven, see that he's edging away, edging away, and then he comes back in. Let's his own shots off. And tight. And, and again, a, a good way to finish a round, you know. It's so important how you finish a round. And that was a good finish. Mm. All right, last round. They're still active. Why they're so active till the end? Um, well, they're, they're conditioning, so they've, they've trained for 12 rounds. So, And also, we at this stage, we know we're quite comfortable 
ahead, whereas um, the opposing team know they're behind. So he came out very active in this round. He knew he had to get a knockout, basically. I think we were about uh, 10 rounds up, nine rounds up at this this stage, and he had won sort of two, three rounds. So yeah, they, they knew they had to come out and, and really try and do something this round. So we told Isaac just to you know, stay switched on, stay compact, and you know get, get through the round. Yes, he's trying desperately, he's pushing, but Isaac is keeping the distance, faking again, moving around. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to move his feet, use the ring, and try and sort of... Um, but not just escaping, because he could escape and just mm. let him down, but... Yeah, he's still trying to be active behind it, which is good. You, you know, you don't want to run for the whole round, that gives the, the opponent the momentum, otherwise. So. <laughs> and Ty, he's oh, celebrating right. already. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. What the, what's up, Penny? Want to punch you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he heard the last 10 seconds and he got he got excited. But yeah, there's obviously the celebrations come in because we we felt very confident, you know, that, um, that he had done it. All right, and party time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The crowd were happy and and it was, you know, that was it. It was a. It, what I was happy with, like I always say, the result is one thing, but performance is another. Mm. So I was so happy and proud of his um, performance and the fact he stuck to a, a strict game plan and strategy. For me, as a coach, that gives me more satisfaction, um, as much satisfaction, really, I should say, as the victory itself. Really, as much as? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Because sometimes you can win, but win in a bad performance yeah. or win and not, be uh, not look good or not be happy with it. I think, you know, I couldn't really ask much more for, from Isaac there in terms of what we asked him and what we trained to do for this fight in particular. You know, he, he stayed away from the right hand, he didn't get involved, he, he used his feints. Like he done everything technically correct, but he, he did it throughout 12 rounds. So he showed a lot of discipline and I think, you know, pushing on that, that discipline is so important at this level. And, and it was technical discipline but dominant at the same time yeah. always dominant so. yeah yeah exactly he used his attributes against his opponent and you know and, and it worked box at range fought in close and um, moved in between so it was, it was really good well congratulations again appreciate it thank you very much